How are you, Commissioner? Nice to see you again, sir. If you don't mind, I'd like just to uh, take a moment here to ask you a few questions it about It wasn't the fire alone that heralded the end of Coney Island's great amusement era. Robert Moses was New York City Parks Commissioner from 1934 to 1960. He was responsible for the creation of Jones Beach State Park, various bridges and parkways, and the 1939 World's Fair. He had a vision for Coney Island. This vision included expanding the beach area, building a new boardwalk, and increasing housing. It did not include preserving the amusement parks. In 1937, Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia transferred control of the beaches in Queens, Staten Island, and Brooklyn from the borough presidents to Robert Moses. This gave him the authority to recreate the outer borough beaches as he pleased. Overcrowding on the Coney Island beach was a legitimate concern, as was open access to the shore. In 1923, Brooklyn borough president Edward Regelman opened a new boardwalk meant to keep the encroaching amusement parks from taking over more of the shorefront. Up to that time, there were no clear boundaries between the public lands of the beach and the land owned by beachfront entrepreneurs. In an effort to preserve the beach for the public, Regelman's boardwalk literally created a line in the sand between public and private lands. In 1939, Robert Moses wanted to move this line back, cutting into the amusements. The path of his new boardwalk would slice straight through amusement parks and call for the destruction of the municipal bathhouse. Robert Moses didn't like the Coney Island amusements. For him, Coney Island was an old, shabby, catchpenny honk-tonk, romantic only at night and in midsummer, rotting inside and out in spite of nostalgic fables. For him, the greatest good Coney Island offered was the open area for recreational use. His plans for the improvement of Coney Island blatantly dismissed the future of the amusements and called for a pedestrian overpass between the train station and the beach, so that visitors could avoid stepping foot in the amusement area. The new boardwalk was completed in 1941. As the amusements eventually faltered, Moses continued to grab land, replacing the majority of what was once the amusement area with housing. Eventually, sections of Coney Island would be rezoned for amusements only, but that came too late for the majority of the rides and games.
From the writing of that statement, Robert Moses was New York City Parks Commissioner for 21 more years. Coney Island's heyday was coming to an end. 